All right, what's up guys? Welcome. Today we're looking at the 2020 uh, Ford Mustang. This, you'll see there's no GT logo on the back. This is the EcoBoost. It's crazy to me that this is still on the lot. This is a 2020. Um, still on the lot here in April of 2021. Uh, these things just have that kind of perception around them. You know, if it's not a four-door electric SUV, then it's not a real Mustang. Wait, no, that's not right. If it's not, uh, you know, if it's not a V8, then it's not a real Mustang. Um, but you know what? I think that we should give it a fair shake. Um, if it's a fun car, then who cares? You know, it, that's really what should matter is, is it fun? So let's take a look at it. Now this one also has this high performance 2.3L here. That means it has the high performance package. This one also has the handling package. Uh, the high performance package gives you the engine from the Focus RS, which is now dead in America. Uh, and the handling package is only available on the the high performance package version. You get these nice sticky summer tires, these courses. It's on 19s instead of the regular EcoBoost 18s. Uh, you also get an, about an inch wider uh, there, and you get the uh, MagnaRide damping system. And you get the rear uh, LSD, and you get the bigger sway bar. The steering up from here. Take a look. It's actually a lot of space. You can actually fold the seats down too. Get a little extra room. You got the quad exhausts. Since it's the high performance, I like these taillights. So let's hop in, let's take a look. I love this rapid red metallic. What's the name of this color? Let's hop in the back first. I'm five foot seven. Still. Front seat set for me, of course. Uh, there's room. It's not bad, except for up here. Not really any room up there, but, you know, if I were a kid or something, it wouldn't be too bad. Riding around town, I could probably deal with this. I wouldn't want to be in here for too long. Let's hop into the front. Alright, we got your standard buttons here. Steering wheel. Start it up. Push button start. Just like everything these days. Okay, low fuel, that's fine. I like these gauges up here. Trip gauge. Gauge mode. You got all these different analog looking gauges they're actually digital obviously but I like the the look of those those are pretty cool nice big speedometer tack a lot of lights got this big screen here this is nice really easy to use big buttons smooth Labs, sync, phone, climate, audio, you know, standard stuff, nice big buttons, like I said. Most good is for sure. Solid shifter feel here. It's not, it's, it's nice and tight, feels solid. It's not like the GT, you know, where you gotta like really give it some muscle, but um, this one, it definitely is solid. Nice solid track. Reverse with the collar up and to the left. Nice 
big screen there with your overhead view as well there in the corner. Manual handbrake, always good. Your room over here. Sounds a little better in here though, I think. Pump in V8 sounds. I hope they do that in the uh, in the Mach E. Just pumping in V8 sounds in your electric vehicle. But that sport mode helps a lot. It tightens up the handling a little bit, opens up the throttle. It responds really, really well. business with that handling package too. Definitely feels good. Through these corners feels really really confident. The wide tires super sticky. Super sticky Corsa summer tires and definitely worth it in my opinion. Feedback is not great. Definitely got your electric power steering with a little bit numb feeling. Um, but it responds pretty well. There's some bumps. Yeah, definitely feel the bumps, but it, it's really it's damp pretty well. Shifter is solid, it's definitely, it doesn't take as much muscle as the GT, um, and the clutch is a lot lighter than the GT, uh, which to me kind of makes it a little bit more livable as a daily, um, you know, if you're stuck in traffic or whatever, people complain, oh, you shouldn't drive a manual in traffic, whatever, I, I don't mind it, but um, I can imagine if you're in something like a GT with a really heavy clutch, um, the Mustang GT, obviously, uh, it, with a really heavy clutch, um, you know, something that feels like it's on all the time, um, it could definitely get tough uh, on that left leg, but uh, it's nice to like, just kind of be able to sit back and, and cruise in this thing. Um, you know, you can't deny the V8 sounds is, is a really nice sound, but also nice to just kind of relax and cruise with this guy. Now in addition to the sport mode uh, and the normal mode, you also have a track mode and you have a wet mode. I think there's a drag strip mode. Track mode, drag strip, snow, wet, normal, and sport. I wish these little switches went down. Like, it looks like it should go up and down, but it only goes up, so you have to cycle through all the modes. It's just a little thing, it's no big deal. Um, but it's just, it's a little annoying. You got 
at uh, 24 miles per gallon combined in this one, uh, which is not too bad. I think the Mustang GT is 18, um, so you get a little bit better gas mileage in this one. Again, better for the daily, the road trip, as long as you're not hauling people in the back. Uh, I wouldn't want a road trip in this. Bit of body roll. Not too bad. That rear, bigger rear sway bar, I'm sure, is helping. Peak power 330 horsepower, up around 6,000 RPM uh, from that Ford Focus RS engine. You get a 20 horsepower bump from the regular EcoBoost, which is down at 310. Um, you also get the, you get 350 pound-feet of torque, up at 3,000 uh, RPM. Definitely a fun one to rev out. It's a perception thing, but I don't know. I've, I've talked to people that are shopping for all kinds of stuff. They didn't really know what they wanted. They're looking at hot hatches. They're looking at Mustangs. Or it's like you don't know whether you want front wheel drive or rear wheel drive. You don't know if you want a turbo four or if you want a V8. But they also couldn't bring themselves to get a four cylinder Mustang. And it's like, well, you're looking at a hot hatch, but you won't get a four-cylinder Mustang. I don't know. I just think the perception is, is dumb, but um, I don't know. If you like the car, go drive it. Test it out. See if it's fun. If it's fun, get it. Who cares? Um, I don't know. I'm just overall that people talking about the different car communities. I don't want to be associated with this car community because then people are going to, you know, if I'm in a Subaru, people are going to think I'm vaping or whatever. It's like, well, just be the exception. And, you know, the, the Mustang perception is not, I don't know, it's not the greatest perception already, but, um, you know, be the one that changes that perception. You don't have to fall into that just because because you're different, you know. Um, you don't have to fall into that perception just because the car you drive, you know. Try something fun. Make something fun. You enjoy. Who cares what other people think. You can be the nice guy driving a Mustang. One that doesn't drive it into crowds. The guy driving the one with the four cylinder. It's just a nice package in here. It just seems, it seems like a really good daily. It seems like something to be good for cruising. I got kids, personally. I don't think I would want to deal with putting them in and out of the back seats. But, uh, if you don't need that, and, uh, you can get over the whole, it has to be a V8 thing, uh, then I think this is really a solid option. I really like this shifter. In the clutch it's light but it's not like it's not like Corolla light you know it has a, you know, a good feel to it plus it's still oh that's not the same as a regular Mustang GT, which is not awesome, but it's alright, it, it handles it, 
handles the turns well. It just uh, doesn't handle the small turns well, if that makes sense. You know, the body control is good. Um, Again, it's just crazy to me that this thing is still on the lap, but I think it's just a perception thing. I think people just need to get over the uh, all the stuff that surrounds a particular car. You know, it's a Mustang, it's got to be a V8. Um, I think this one, you know, especially if you're into turbos, if you like turbos, if you like the way they kick, um, you know, this is a solid car. Uh, this is, you know, it's the GT is a little bit more visceral a lot more visceral it's got the v8 sound which is great but this is more of your cruiser uh your daily your road tripper um it's definitely a solid car and i i think it's um you know i think it's worth a look um you know it handles like a mustang uh she is uh you know not not quite as good as something like a camaro but you get a lot better visibility um, and, and again, you get that kick of the turbo, you get some decent gas mileage. Um, it's not, not amazing, but it's, it's not too bad. And, um, yeah, solid shifter feel. Clutch feels good. It's on the light side though, which is good if you're sitting in traffic a lot. Um, but overall solid, solid car. Um, again, if you got a car for me, uh, Jason at manual-cars.com. Uh, if you're interested in this car, come check it out over at Dowling Ford, Central Connecticut. Uh, and thanks again to them for providing this one. Alright, see you next time.